Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SK beat. We're kicking. Just kicking. Just kicking. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And happy 4th of July. Happy 4th, happy 4th, happy 4th, July. Happy 4th, happy 4th. Ugh, I got tongue twisted. Anyway, happy 4th of July, people. Okay. I just wanted to talk about something real quick, fast, in a hurry. Y'all know who this is. I know her as Fancy on the Jamie Foxx show. And she played somewhat of a stuck-up uh, person who only dated rich people. And she did have a heart to some degree. She wasn't snobbish, but she was stuck up. And she was very much a part of living the echelon type of lifestyle that's what i got that's my viewpoint when she was on um jamie fox show but honey baby garcia likes herself some white pie honey she likes a white swirl thing going on all right she married mike nylon and had those beautiful yep that's him had the beautiful two young boys okay and she has an older son named oliver from another marriage or, or relationship but i cannot believe that i heard because i've been start watching beverly hills housewives okay because they were just too uh richy white for me you know what i'm saying like where where the color at where the asians at where the native americans at where where the black folks at you know what i'm saying why well, we gotta ho- have a whole damn panel of white women okay oh white privy women at that and Lisa Renner as well as Erica Jane, please. Those are the two that need to not be getting you straight, okay? Them the ones that be running their mouths too much. But I thought you had some black in you, Garcia. You Haitian. You got Haitian in you. Haitian blood. African American girl. I don't understand. I don't understand. Because one thing people should not come for are the kids. Unless the kids are grown. And they in the limelight doing terrible things, okay? But girl, why is she hollering at JT and JJ, J Thomas and Jax Joseph, Nyland? Why is she hollering at the baby? I don't know which one she had. Was it JT or was it JJ? I don't know. But for her to even try to fix her mouth to sit up there to holler at your children, talking about some get out of here, get out of here, and all this kind of crap. And they probably know she was under the influence of alcohol, but that doesn't work because when people run in their mouths, trust and believe they know what they're saying. All right, yeah, they know what they're saying. And maybe that's why she stayed drunk, meaning um, Erica Jane stayed drunk all the time because she want people to think that she's talking out of her head. But, honey, if you really listen to a drunk, babbling person, they be speaking nothing but true tea. Okay? So, she don't like you, Garcia. I don't know where you got the idea that you could float with these women and give them passes all day long. But you need to straighten up and fly right, girl. You need to check them every time they want to make a racial discriminatory remark against you, the culture, or your children. What's going on, girl? You act like you can't uh, say nothing to these women. Okay? Like you can't say nothing. Even Evan Williams had a hard time trying to do something. But Garcelle, you don't work in various different platforms. Okay? We know you're an author. We know you're an actress. And we know you've been in several movies or, or, you know, like Lifetime and things of that nature. So why are you doubling down, giving Erica Jane Garotti, Garotti, something like that, permission and passes to do whatever, win whatever, how whatever against you and your boys? Or you against you and one of your children. And then I heard that she was not only doing that. She was making passes at your 
elderly son that's what 29 or something like that 27 can't remember the age but y'all know where i'm going y'all know oliver her oldest son but her miss rena and miss erica garaldi or erica jane however you want to see i'll be thinking about sarah jane Woo child and that oh, dear mama dearest mom woman mommy dear or something like that I don't know. Got me all messed up. Because I, I was too hot, fired, mad when I had heard that on somebody else's uh, YouTube station. Um, talking about you uh, you let that lady holler at your children or your child. Hell, if you don't holler at them, why are you going to give somebody else permission or a pass to holler at them? That's a hot mess. That's a hot, hot mess. But I mean, that's the way you want to roll. You just roll on. Get your roll on. Get your roll on. But don't jump into the fire when it's already been watered down. Don't try to just keep nothing for the reunion shows. And then you want to blabber everything out and call her this, that, and the third. Nope. Once stuff starts simmering and it's already in the fire, frying it up. That's when you need to be in that heat, stirring as it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. Yes, ma'am. That's what you should have been doing. That was your part as a mother and a, um, what do you call it, a protector. Okay? Because we didn't want a man to jump in. We didn't want your, your husband to jump in and or your ex-husband to jump in and say something. Because that ain't his place. Men argue with men. Women argue with women. I don't like when people invite other entities to come in that's of the opposite sex. Just like um, Ken Burris had was at the Critics Choice Awards or something, and one of the interview uh, one of the interviewers had asked Todd a question about what he felt about what Marley was doing to his wife. See, that was a question that shouldn't have not even been addressed. Todd should have said. Ma'am, that's between women. As long as they're not physically hurting her, like touching her, I don't have nothing to say because my wife is good about handling things. She knows what upsets me, and I know what upsets her. But I can't fuss and fight or argue with a woman. You know, she's not a man. And that's how I would have left it. And I was like, can't handle that. You know what I'm saying? But see, men get too involved with wanting to have their say. Instead of not even giving them voice to have a say. Because it ain't about them. It was about Candy and Marlo. Candy and Sheree. Alright. And that's where it should have stayed. And Candy should have checked that interviewer and said, you know what? Don't ask, my, don't ask my husband anything about the comings and goings that happen on this show. Don't do that. Address me. Now, if a man come in and they want to be uh, talking incorrectly around me by me with me then um about me then i have to get my husband on him okay because that's a man on man deal not a woman on a woman deal same thing with uh garcia what are you waiting on garcia are you scared that you may say something that may hasten your stay on the real housewives of beverly hills is that what we're working towards Keeping the job that pays us and everybody else of not even your color can say in and everything they want to say. I mean, bravo, come on, aren't y'all in enough shits with the fan with many leaks? Okay. So, Garcia, you need to check that. She needs to pay a fine of some sorts or she needs to be out of some episodes. And hell, really, she, she really shouldn't even be on the show. Because she didn't even want to give back the money that her husband had stole from all those investors, okay? She, he brought her items, materialistic items, off of the money that he stole from said investors. So how did she really think she was going to keep any of those gifts that her husband uh, had given to her from that money? Make it make sense. Okay, make it make sense. And that's my other channel. Y'all should be over there getting y'all laugh on, y'all kikis, or just have supporting your, your uh, family member. All right, with subscriptions, you know, meaning subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. Okay, but I'm very disappointed, very disappointed in Garcelle. I don't understand her tactics or her moves that she's playing on this television show, and they have her looking like a damn fool. 
the majority of the time, since she really been on the show. But that's all I had to say. Garcelle, straighten, straighten yourself out and fly right and check Eric, Erica Jane. Because she ain't got no business talking to your kids, period, unless she's giving them nothing but compliments. Nothing but compliments. Okay? I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.